We're live! Redcaster, Show Raven, Bluecaster, Sheena Zazil, Greencaster, Overkill, Blackcaster, Ransack, Pinkcaster, Legend! Broadcasting loud and opinionated perspectives across the internet. Radio set time! Cast Ranger! On air! Welcome to the first episode of Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. Basically, the idea here is uh, we're a bunch of clods from Ixy Studios who decided to get together and share our love of Tokusatsu, aka Common Rider and Super Sentai, the Japanese version of Power Rangers. Yay. Talk about our the shows we like, what we hate, who we love, who we hate, all that good stuff. And basically, we're going to be giving our reviews for each episode as the ongoing series air. So the first segments we're going to do is Common Rider. And then talk about the Super Sentai episodes. Because this is the first episode, we're going to be starting it a little differently. We're going to be talking about the current ongoing series, uh, starting with our first opinions of the show. And then we're going to move on to our thoughts as of the current state. And then move into our favorites. First topic is Kamen Rider Gaim. Kamen Rider Gaim! So let's talk about what we thought about the show when it was first announced, slash when the first episode aired. Let's start with our leader, Redcaster. I was actually very okay with it when I first saw it. First and foremost, we saw them mention that they were going to do a whole fruit theme for the show, and it was like, okay, that's going to be a little weird. That was better than the one that was leaked, which was supposed to be CDs. Yeah, that was kind of... Mini-discs. Oh, mini-discs, yeah. Yeah, mini-discs, that thing that nobody uses anymore at all. And never did. I feel like that would have been a serious step back from Double with the USB sticks. What's next, cassettes? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> Data? Yeah, eventually. Beta? <laughs> click, click. When I first heard the fruit thing, I was like, okay, that's going to be a little weird. And then I saw a post on Anime News Network about the staff that they had announced for the series, and lo and behold, is written by Gen Rabuchi. Want to name off the other titles he's been involved with for the unaware? Well, Amaji Madoka, Fate Zero, Psychopaths. I really like everything this guy's had his hands in, so I'm like, yep, okay, I'm in. Not even worried anymore, you guys. This is the anime guy talking here. This is the guy who watches almost every anime every season. I love how I was, was and still am, like, the only one in the group who was actually still okay with, with Gaim's design. Orange oh, arms? I don't like everything else I'm fine me. with. It's oh, grown I on me. I, I'm very, like, right, right, right from the beginning I saw the picture of orange arms and was like, I'm actually okay with this. I kind of look back to O's at that, for that one, where when they first released the design for O's, it was like, that's stupid, what the fuck? Well, let's not get terribly in discussion about and then And the then, lines. like, and then, like, Ten episodes in, suddenly I'm like, O's is really cool. I like this design. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, no, Same I name, changed yeah, my mind pretty hard on that one. Oh, O's for me. Oh, no, let's not talk about O's. Let's, let's talk about O's. Let's talk about Guy. Okay, no, I was just making an example. I'm very, I was, I've been very okay with Guy's actual design for the entire thing here. That's my piece. I was just very okay with the show before it even started. I was like, yep, Urubuchi's in this, okay. Okay, so, when Guy was first announced, yeah, I was also very aware of the there was a rumor that it was a mini disc, which I'm like, maybe if they pull it off. And then I heard the fruit theme, and I'm like, nope, it's going to be fucking stupid if they do this. And there was rumors flying around that it was going to be Fruit Ninja, and there were jokes, and there are still jokes. So when they first showed off Gaim and showed that they were using padlocks based on fruit, my immediate thought, like most people, was, why this weird combination? Fruits and locks and Sengoku era samurai? And dancing. And break dancing! But, uh, and I, I just have to say now, I, my feelings in. for Gaim Where Orange Arm specifically are the same as when I first saw it. I still fucking hate that line. Every other form no, six minutes. Six minutes! Yeah. What about the mix? <laughs> it take very long at all. Yeah. No! Uh, still better than orange. But it is orange. It's orange with black armor that is basically orange the Thanos system. Orange lemon. Uh, yeah. But... Ichigo Arms. <clears throat> yes. Ichigo Arms. It would be hilarious. The funniest thing is Zangetsu Ichigo Arms. Oh, God. I hope that's in the Hyper Battle DVD, actually. When the show first aired, I was confused, but I took a lot of faith from uh, Raven telling me that this was the guy who wrote Madoka, so the plot is going to be great. And it was. <laughs> yeah. Well, we won't get into the we'll details get into of the plot that yet. We'll get into that next. When we give you the spoiler warning, then we talk yeah. about plot. Okay, so your thoughts on Gaim on the first announcement. Okay, so when Lane first told me that the two rumors was mini-disc and... Fruit. I both. I hated both ideas right away. I was like, "This, this seems really stupid." <laughs> and then he showed me the screenshot of Gaim with his face 
turned to us. You know, like you because somebody just took a, a picture of him of like the, the, the helmet. Of the, yeah. No, of that of him turned away. <clears throat> yeah, in the back. Whatever. In the back, like from behind. Oh, I was like, huh. yeah, and I was like. Well, the, the the color looks okay, blue and orange. I kind of like it. I kind we kind of got a look at the sword, which, by the way, was oh, I forgot the name, Miso Muso Muso Saber. Saber. Muso Saber, because we didn't get to see the other the other sword because his, his back was turned the other way, yeah, mm-hmm. so we get to see the other sword. So the Dai Dai Moro. Just yeah. a thought. I feel like if it was the Miso Saber, it would have been a completely different. <laughs> no, show. that's what Mike thought we said when we were talking about yeah. it earlier. <laughs> I thought you said the Miso Saber. I don't get the reference. We'll it's talk about that later. It's, it's, miso it's, Soup. Oh. It's just, it's the same driver except the soup bowls. <laughs> <laughs> and then again, Raven told me, Ryder and Madoka, and I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. First episode, didn't like it. Second episode, didn't like it. Always give it a three episode try. That's how I go. And I go look at the third episode, and I loved it. Because that was the episode that Baron got his banana arms. Episode three was Ryugan. Oh, no, it was Ryugan. Yeah, you're right. No, because banana arms I hated. No, it was Ryugan I liked. Yeah. With the, with the crepe, because he's like, he's on stage, and everyone's all like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? going to fight that thing? He goes, yeah. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> dear God. I will fight you in real yeah. life. It's a grape gun. It shoots grapes. The grapes are the bullets. Yep. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> I loved it, and I'll talk, about, I'll talk about the story when we get to that part, but second best show that I love right now. For me... I was just a big fan of Toku up until it hit Decade, because it did get me, yes, there was a lot of spoiler-heavy stuff, but it was just sort of stuff that if you didn't watch the source material to begin with, you were kind of left clueless anyway. So it did get me into a lot of Rider that I just didn't even think to look into. And then Double, I didn't like. O's, I loved. And then Forze, I hated. And I was like, this whole Neo Heisei thing is kind of inconsistent. I don't like it. So I'm just going to give it kind of one last try because Forze, in my eyes, really sucked. And then Wizard? Right, I totally forgot. See, if that just tells you how bad <laughs> Neo Heisei is. I totally forgot that existed. So I was like, alright, last legs. This is the kind of the final chance. And they were like, fruit samurais. And I was like, you're halfway there. You're really losing me here. Evan shows up. You know who's writing that? Who? Madoka. I'm in! I love how that was always the selling point for everybody. That's it, though. It was really, like, I was just kind of... It was like, for everybody, I walk in, Madoka. I'd like to think that was pretty much everyone's <laughs> reason to ke- to hang on. Yeah, it's just like... Any, anyone listening, uh, post in comments and such if that was pretty much the same reason for you to do that. Or, um, or if you had a different reason, we'd like to know. Episode 1, it was slow episode one it was kind of setting the tone kind of setting the pace just kind of here's what's going on it started out at a pace where you just kind of everyone's going about their day about five episodes in when we're just kind of still working towards <coughs> what is even happening i'm just kind of like Uru butcher i just gotta i just gotta sit and be patient and good things will happen and somebody is going to die We'll get into that afterwards. Spoiler! (laughs) Someone dies. Looked at the timer, and new record. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's episode three. No, that's episode one. That's episode one! Point. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of more adding on to what everyone's already said, but it was basically just kind of like Kamen Rider's final redemption for keeping me in the franchise at all, and it just couldn't have gone any better. This was everything I needed in the Rider series to kind of keep me afloat. Yeah, man. When I first saw, like, I heard that it was going to be, like, a Con Rider break, and it was going to be, like, a breakdancing Rider and stuff from the disc, so I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, that's because with me, it's, like, my opinion, like, I'm just like, okay, I'm open to anything. That's cool. Let's see how it is. Maybe it'll be good. It'll pick up and stuff. So whatever. And then I saw, like, Fruit and Padlocks, and I was like, all right. Um, the toys will probably be super interesting. See, like, uh, the final front picture of Guy, and I'm just the first one, like, what? This is so wrong! It's weird. And then, like, I, fi- I figured out, I was like, oh, okay, it's Senkoku Japan, like, Samurai and stuff. I'm like, okay, that's that's fine. I, I get it. You're making fruit into armor. That Okay, I'll see it. Watched episode one. What I most like is that I like it that they went back to just, you know, Guy gets this belt, doesn't know what the how to fucking use it, because, like, Wizard was just, oh, he already trained yeah, and learned his powers. that's something I, like, I forgot to mention. I, I always like series where the main character starts off completely unaware and just learns as he goes, because it gives perfect excuse for exposition and showing off powers as you go. I watched yeah. episode one, I was like, okay, this is 
pretty cool, you know what? And like my overall opinion, because everyone was said first saying like, "Oh, this is gonna be shit. I'm not gonna watch this." And I'm like, you know what? I don't. I'm I'm a dedicated writer fan. No matter how shitty the series is, I will watch it no matter what, just because I need something to watch once a week. But they've all watched Madoka. I haven't yet, so um, it's like, oh, okay. Apparently, let's this put guy, it this way: this it's, guy's a very what everyone's been saying about Madoka. It's female Ryuki, very accurate. This guy's a very dark writer, apparently, and so I'm like, okay, so there's gonna be like death and betrayal and like you know and just the other thing that makes it so good is that riders fighting other riders yeah. not just monsters all the time you know it's just riders fighting each other actually, for territory very, and shit actually I'm like, very so cool. little variety in the way of monsters too exactly have you yeah. noticed, there's aside much from, less fighting aside monsters aside from like the basic monsters it's been like the same four it's monsters because they're always the using time. if you haven't noticed the monster they're always using is two different monsters the monster that comes from the Ichigo Lockseed? No, the Hiwa Him Himawari. Himawari Yeah, but and, and it's always the Ichigo Lockseed monster, which is the, the bird-looking one. Oh, no, no, the Ichigo one is the dragon. Oh, the dragon one, yeah. That's the one I always see. the horse, and there's... And the mostly one. there's the, what I like to call the worm in this, because they look like worms, yeah. kind of. Yeah, the basic so, ones. Yeah. Yeah, they do look like worms. Kind of, yeah. 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 <clears throat> okay, so right, that's so. basically our first thoughts on Gaim. Shall we move on to Tokyo's your first thoughts? No, we should talk about the episode. Right. Severe spoiler warnings. We'll give yeah. you four seconds Anyone here. Anyone who hasn't watched up to Gaim episode 20 may wish to pause this and go do so. We will leave an annotation in the video where you can click the annotation and we'll skip this area. So, all right. Safe zone. Okay, there we go. Ah! Gaim! So good! <laughs> <laughs> Itchy peaked the mic pretty hard. There. I know. <laughs> Going into this show, it's like, well, let's see how she does, and lo and behold, holy shit. Exactly. Holy, as sh predicted. holy shit, plot <laughs> twists, and yeah. New record. By the way. Okay, so, um, I counted it. It's six minutes in where he goes in the, into the world yeah. and eats the lo eats yeah. the lock seed and turns. So, six minutes. Six yeah. minutes! Yep. <laughs> Didn't take very long at all. No. Episode one. Episode one, six minutes in. And we called it. <laughs> yes. We totally all called it. Every last like, one of Tuck us. Because Taurus said, like, literally, like, he's like, once you become, like, you've eaten the fruit and become an invest, you're practically a corpse. Yeah. You're yeah. no longer human yeah, whatsoever. he just said that. He just said that this episode. But mm -hmm. the thing is, back in episode one, the second I saw that monster pop up, I was like, that's his buddy. That's you, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. And I'm like, that's his buddy. And it was, I don't know. That's why the belt was on the ground. I was like, like yeah. why would the belt like, be on the ground? I was like, you mean the invest beside the Sengoku driver? Yeah. Hmm, I wonder why that's a thing. Yeah. And, and the last was, thing you see is him looking hypnotically I mean, at the fruit. It wouldn't be the first time that Urobuchi wrote something where somebody turned into a monster. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. It wouldn't be the first time he pulled that. So, won't be the last. <laughs> it probably um, won't be the yeah, last. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, I'm very glad I decided to hang on with Gaim as well for exactly the same reason. The fact that the writing is fantastic. It's what I, what I keep saying to people is not since Kiva 2008 have I looked forward to a writer series for m plot reasons more than just, ooh, look, a new power. The plot is so good, and uh, it, the way it humanizes even the villain characters is amazing especially yeah. in the last couple episodes Aww. calling it right now and Takatoro is going to become one of the good guys and suddenly Baron and the rest of the Ikusho yeah. crew are the bad guys that's now. where it's heading it's, yeah. just, it's literally awesome <clears throat> Common Riders are the villains of this series they yeah. literally no not the Envis or anything it's Common Riders the, in, the Envis uh, the Envis in the forest is, is just an organism trying to reproduce and survive. Yeah. It's like Takatora said, evil with no purpose or reason. Exactly. But and that's what makes this series so great, because it really humanizes the characters who you thought were villains. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Except Bravo, but we'll get into that. Bravo's an ass. Yeah. We'll get into him later. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> He'll get into you later. Yeah. <laughs> He's already into you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, current opinion on Gaim, it's fucking amazing. I love... it. Pretty much everyone I've talked... Most people I've talked to... After watching 20, pretty much just threw up their hands and said, Nope, guy is the best show ever. Yeah, let's just go ahead and give it the fucking trophy. Yeah. No. And we're only 20 episodes in out of like 50. And two of the major plot points have been revealed. By the way, I also called the major plot point uh, that was revealed in this episode the fact that what the 
the horrible thing was that Takatora revealed to Mitsuzane and Kota. You, I'm, I'm sure I told at least one of you what my theory was, and I was completely correct. I, yep. I also told you that it was going to be. And like, it's can we talk about it's that? Something along those lines. Could we? Could can we actually say? Well, we did give a spoiler warning, so yeah. I'm gonna. Go yeah, but I think spoiler warning would be for the series, not for the latest episode. Okay. At this point, if you haven't watched episode twenty, go watch it. Pause right now. Okay. Good. Okay. It's a fucking city in the forest that was taken over and destroyed by the fruit. Yeah. The, uh, they, they, they're in, in, in invasive species. So. And now it's leaking into the normal world and trying to take over that world as well. Yeah. And Yggdrasil's purpose is to contain it as much as possible. Yeah, because they noticed the weird lock seed thing. They yeah. noticed a seed and they were like, oh shit, we need to do something about this. This is pretty, this is pretty <clears> bad. <throat> But you know what was interesting? I was thinking about this recently. The idea with Gaim is they're taking the lock seeds, the fruit produced by the evil, and repurposing them for their own powers. But if you think back to the special at the end of Wizard, they were all about, oh, you writers, oh, you use monster powers. You really are monsters, blah, blah, blah. And then Gaim busts in like, I kind of don't do that. I guess I should beat you now. And then you think back and they're like, no, you're very much using the powers of the enemy. True. Yeah. <laughs> Although that special was non-canon as fuck, it's so whatever. That's basically what he, original Kamen Rider was anyway. Yeah, Kamen Rider has always been about taking the enemies, the power of your enemies and throwing it back at them. Pretty much, yeah. We can sit here forever and yell off how every series does that, but I'm sure anyone who knows... Well, Agito technically didn't. Power it, of God! Power of God! Rider against kicked God in the face! Power... The one who gave Agito his powers was the devil. Oh, yeah. It's my piece on Gaim currently. Dave, go. Episode 20. I was literally watching this going, Ooh, this is pretty cool. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Great show. Middle middle of the road. Straight line. Hits episode 20. Holy fuck, you broke the ceiling with a spike. Yeah. It was just... It just went... Pink! Oh. Oh, this is fucking amazing. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear Jesus. I called it. I fucking called it. Oh, God. I actually called something. <laughs> <laughs> Someone better pick up that phone because I, I fucking, fucking called it. But yeah, that is a great like series, like the great series that we're watching right now. And as I said, it's my second best series that, that I've watched so far. But it's slowly creeping up on my favorite series, which yeah. we'll, I'll talk about at the time. All right, Kevin, thoughts um, on current game slash episode twenty? Uh, I re- that is to say, I really like it a lot. I guess my point as of four or five episodes was I'm waiting for Gaim to end so I can put the it's my favorite stamp on it. Yeah. It's the quality. The, right now, my favorite as far as just what I felt was just overall the best done rider series was is Kabuto. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about our favorite. Yeah, that's fine, but I, it's just <laughs> as to the point of just it's sitting there in the back of my mind just going this is this is better than this. All this has to do is keep doing this. They, 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 <laughs> they really could fuck this up by but the that's end. Just it. It, yeah. it, we do have thirty episodes yeah. left. I just go. He's not going to. But some. But it shit could. happens. They could be like, "You're fired," and hired some fucking like twelve year old kid. Let's kids just to hope they the don't pull another Hibiki. Shit happens, but I mean, I'm just waiting for it to end, just so I can go. Oh, that that's it. That's ten out of ten. Just that is. <laughs> That is what every com- if if it, if this is keep going the way it is and it keeps going inclined like this, mm-hmm. this is what they should model Kamen Rider after. Yeah, great writing, great writer, writer versus writer. <laughs> I think the most interesting thing from the production angle of the of the series is the fact that they've written such a great story that no one even cares that the series is still as gimmicky as Neo Heisei has always been. Yeah. Yeah. They still need to sell toys, man. And they are. Yeah. We have a shit ton of yeah, them. Yeah, we have them here. We're only missing three Loxies, <laughs> which are coming out this summer. Summer, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gaim, yes, is very good. It's still not my favorite series, per se, but it's it's great. I will never say it sucks. I'll never say it's one of the worst. I, if someone asks me like, to start Conrad, I'll highly recommend they watch Gaim. What I always noticed is that when Kaito came onto the scene, I was like... Okay, this guy's a dick. All he wants is just power, and he wants to get revenge on Yggdrasil for what they did to him, like, uh, to his town city as a kid and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, I hope he doesn't become one of these characters that, like, later is on and is, like, you know, good, and he decides to not pulls be a dick anymore. Pulls, pulls but himself. no! 
He goes to the Yggdrasil, Sengoku gets an offer, and he's just like, oh yeah, so we're just here protecting the Earth and blah 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 from invasion and stuff like that, and he's just like, and Kaido's like, still don't like what you guys are doing, but you know what? If the world, if this shit goes down, the villains with power should survive, fuck the weak. And I'm just like, Consistency? Holy shit, you're still a fucking asshole! This is amazing! Consistency? And what is this? And they're all just laughing together, like, yeah, wow, that's exactly what we thought, too. The stronger... Pretty, uh, to quote Darth Malak, the stronger uh, must win if we are to survive. And I'm just like, yeah! Survival of the fittest! <laughs> yeah, and this calls back to what we were saying earlier, how these characters are starting to look like the real villains. So that's why, like, I'm, like, my favorite character in Rider right now, I guess, is Kamen Rider Malika, just because don't know anything about her like Sengoku even said like Kota and you are the only two riders left that like I need to see what you can actually do like your full potential and she's just like oh well mm, you'll see and I'm like oh you're, you're gonna be endgame villain I know it yeah <laughs> something's I have, up about her I have, I have a strong feeling she's gonna be very important later on mm -hmm. uh, but other than that yeah like I'm fucking it's, it's amazing can't go wrong with it <laughs> riders versus riders I, I love it yeah. Okay, so we've said our piece on Gaim. Uh, so let's move on to the current Super Sentai, Resha Sentai Tokyuji. Fuck yeah! Resha Sentai Tokyuji! Alright, Tokyuji, the current Super Sentai. New yes. theme, Trains. Yeah. Because Deno did it. No, Trains and Imagination. Trains and Imagination! None of this is. Kevin has a secret sex desire for wagon. I yeah. don't know why. Oh, she, <laughs> She's got handles oh, in all the right I places. Handles in all the right places. <laughs> I don't care if it's that VA. So it's yeah, wrong. which VA is that? <laughs> Tell us, Raven. I'll get to that with my opinion. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, your opinion first. is up first. I know. It is in so general. At, so, get as to of this, it. so as of this point, we're up to episode three of. So Tokyo. if you haven't read any spoiler, even though watch the episode of Tokyo episode one, two, and three, it one, doesn't matter because we're not spoiling shit. Well. We are what spoil. happened that we need to spoil? Well, since we're, only, Aside from that. since we're only three episodes in, let's just go ahead and talk about our okay. thoughts on the series as a whole. So, thoughts pause, the so pause warning, warning, spoiler warning. If you haven't watched Tokyo Ujir episodes one, two, and three, you can go watch those now and come back if you want to hear our opinions. Or if, you can just, I'll put an annotation if, down and you can skip ahead. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Redcaster. First impressions of Tokyo Ujir, what my thoughts were when it was revealed. I wasn't going to watch it. <laughs> yeah. Then this podcast happened, and then I marathoned the first three episodes. First, first impression. Do you regret it? To an extent. <laughs> it's, it's to an extent, yes. Like, uh, just right up front, <laughs> right up front. As far as Super Sentai goes, I don't usually watch it. What I've I've watched Gokaiger. Yes. Oh, yeah. well, he went from Gokaiger to this. <laughs> oh <laughs> god, that's one fuckload of a drop. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I went from awesome Super Sentai transforming into fucking all the shit I know from Power Rangers when I was a kid to trains and <laughs> poking ants with a claw. And we'll get into that when it's Dave's yeah, turn. Yeah, no, no, that's mine. And, that's, that's... and train boner. But that's besides <laughs> the point. No, that is one of the points. That literally that's is the, the point. point. It literally is the point. Uh, I'm sorry, biggest fucking oversight in Japanese history. There's no I way that it. was an oversight. That had to have been That's intentional. That was, my, only wasn't my, joke only for the adults. my only question. How the fuck did you guys get that past the censor? <laughs> yeah. There's a censor in Japan. They're did perverted you, as fuck. Like, I know with I know with You anime, censor porn and not this? I know with <laughs> anime you guys finish the production like half an hour ahead of time and run it to the station. <laughs> but honest to God, do you do that with Sentai too? <laughs> That's the only way I think that got past them on the air for a kids' show. The censor must have had an appointment for brunch that day. It's, we are we are going to have the Megasword fuck its way out of a coffin. <laughs> Literally, that's what happened. I no no okay moving on. <laughs> my first response, my first opinion of this show, just holy crap! That all star anime cast, you guys. Oh yeah, like. I was recognizing voices left, right, and center walking into this show. The freaking puppet, yeah. monkey puppet, tongue in his hand. Ticket. Ticket. It's Teddy from Persona 4. Oh, why did I not notice? Yeah, he also voices the narrator and he voices the changer. I know. I sat there and I was just listening to it. It's like, is that 
Is that Teddy? Fuck. That's cool. That's, me, that's me sticking yeah. to the dub. That's yeah, literally that's you me. on the dub, but no. That's... And then Wagon. Uh. Hi. Hi, Hori Ayui. How are you doing? Voice of Naru from Love Hina. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Among other things. <laughs> Many other things. <laughs> Holy crap, has she got been, uh, been in a lot of things. But the, the two of them have been together for a while. There was another voice. I can't oh, yeah. remember off the top of my head. There's... Two voice actors in that show that have worked together on quite a number of things. Yeah, uh, I can't 100%. I think it was Love Hina and Fruits Basket were the main two on that list, but yeah. I can't remember who the other person was. I think it was Sue. Oh, Sue from Love Hina is in yeah. this show. Okay. I can't remember who, but okay. I think she's one of the villains. Okay. And then, of course, is uh, <laughs> the one I noticed. And then there's and then there's Lelouch. Which one is he? One of the villains. He's the clockwork he's guy. The guy. He's oh that guy who isn't the general. Oh yeah. my god. He's the clockwork bird guy. It's the loose <laughs> from Kogisu. Guys. I was like, I even noticed that. He looks at he he was he looks at the TV and then looks at oh, me and god. he looks at me and I have a big smile on my face. And I'm just like, oh god, it's the loose. Much much Jibunwo. I'm just like, oh yeah. <laughs> I think her name was Lelouch. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's that guy's name? I could call code him, I'm gonna call you him guys Lelouch. Code men jokes now? <laughs> We're just gonna call this guy Lelouch for now. No, it's, no, no, that was Naruto. That, oh, that's quite literally the voice he's using too. It's fucking zero. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay. I know the joke I use is from Yu-Gi-Oh! Ah, uh, yeah. but yeah. Anyways, and you know, so then that's cool. All-Star anime cast. I'm okay with this. And the train fucks its way out of a coffin, and I'm just like, <laughs> train boner, you guys. <laughs> no, it's, it wasn't well, even. <laughs> <laughs> If you didn't Great. see that, he activated his eject chair. <laughs> at no, this point, at, no. At this point in the video, I'm going to put in that gift <laughs> we've all been seeing. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's going to be playing this whole yes. time. Oh dear God, I hate just, you. Just I love you. Twitching train boner. No, but no. Literally, it couldn't go any better. It literally, it, it went. The boner it's, was like soft, but hard. I, I'm very, <laughs> like, I'm very much in agreement with Derek the Bard's tweet about that. Oh yeah. It's I saw you retweeted it. I did right. Yeah. You retweeted it. That's the only reason I saw it. But it was just, he's sitting there watching the episode, and he just tweets, I just put that, and I can't even sugarcoat this one, you guys. <laughs> I'm like, no, you can't. There's no other way to describe this aside from the Megazord stuck its penis through the coffin. It, uh, it's steam-powered penis. And then it... No, and that was the worst part, because after it stuck its penis through the coffin, there was a little jet of white steam coming out the end. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my god. Right. It's just, there's no way to put it aside from that. It fucking fucked the coffin and then came. It's, okay. That's it. That's it. That's what it's doing. Okay, can we move on now? Yeah. Kid show. <laughs> it is a kid show. That's what's scary. Okay. Okay, so... What can you say to top that? Everything Raven just said, first off. Everything. Hashtag train boner. Yeah, hashtag All train boner. Oh, yeah, we're going to make that a hashtag now. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's already yeah, one. I was going to say yes, now. <laughs> Um, okay, going into Tokyo, my immediate thoughts were, there's going to be Deno crossover, isn't there? And lo yep. and behold, yep. there is a Deno crossover in the upcoming movie. And they've confirmed that the Denliner combines with the first Yes, day. it becomes and, its legs. But it's also not new Deno. No, I know, it, it is original sword form Deno. Yeah. He's piling in the Deno. And it also combines with a red Resha fashioned after Gabutira. And there was also a red buster ace, red like an ace. Go buster. Russia. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so my thoughts on the series. Uh, the plot still has yet to make any fucking sense, but it's starting to come together. Imagination. Yeah, that sounds like a story I wrote in high school. You know what I noticed? Craft. You know what I noticed? All of the rangers' names are the word light in different meanings. Light, Hikari, Tokati, Kagura. I forget what the yellow chick's name is. They're all words that mean light. Yay. Because the enemies are the shadow line. And it, that and said, it, I have to say, the shadow line, the villains. Oh man, oh, they're probably the coolest looking villains in a long time. Just beautifully designed villains. That guy like, wandering down the path with a dragging a coffin behind him, singing, singing about how he's going to put you in a coffin and no, kill that was, you. That, I looked at you and I was like, I'm sad that you have to die eventually. Yeah. yeah. But uh, 
one thing I'm looking forward to uh, in upcoming episodes, I don't know how soon it's going to happen, is apparently the Shadow Line, like the evil trains, are actually going to transform into mechs at some point, which is going to be awesome. I wonder if it's going to look like just the dark form of... Tokyo. Of the Tokyo. I doubt it, because they're actually different. They have different. Be, but they, 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 they kind of do look a little bit the same. They but, look American, Japanese, and well, Fox or maybe five of those five of the dark trains will combine to become dark Tokyo. Dark to- yeah, yeah that's totally what it looks happen. like. Yeah, and that's when Tokyo will get its upgrade. Yes, absolutely. One thing that I noticed happened. Oh, the battleizer. <clears throat> one thing that I noticed happened in episode two that really made me laugh. Uh, <clears throat> they're fighting on the trains as they're going, like Red Ranger is fighting uh-huh. the monster, and this is a monster who uses twin swords to fight. So Yeah, the, they're having a the duel. Tra- the train, yeah, they're having a duel. So the train comes up to like a tunnel, and then the monster lifts his sword up, swords up like, I'm going to defeat you! And then it goes through the tunnel, and the tops of both of his swords just get snapped right off. They, and they, he, he just, looks he at just them. lowers down, <laughs> looks at them, and goes... Oh. oh. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god. I just want that scene. Like, I want that the worst, scene. The worst part about that is, I had no context on the series up to that point, and I turned around, I, he was wa- Itchy was watching it at work. Yeah, I was about to say, I was and watching it at work. And, and I turned around to look over for a second, and I saw just that. <laughs> and, and I, I just no, burst into laughing. Yeah, and I didn't turn around and saw office. it, and I was like, I was like, the fuck? <laughs> I legit pulled it back to watch it again, and I had to hold back my laughter because I was at work. It's like, what the hell? Yeah, I wonder if you did that full on like super crying <laughs> sound laughter. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, Tokyo at its core, I'm still have no interest in. But if it keeps up jokes like the swords and the dick punching and stuff like that, I might keep watching. That's basic Megazord. Yeah. That's no, basic. No, no, you can't talk that. Like, you can't. That's... Unless two dicks come out, then you doubled it. Oh, and I also have to Let's say see. the whole line, the whole color changing gimmick is fucking stupid. The Red Ranger looks at the blue guy and says, You know what? Fuck it. I want to be blue. Gimme! And they just switch trains. Yeah. And then everyone does it. And the yellow chick's like, What are you retards doing? And that's why I like the Yellow Ranger, even though I can't remember her name. <laughs> okay, well, but the names the names always take forever to, to yeah. learn. Okay, Dave. Okay, take what take what Raven said, take what Ichi said, mash them together, and then add the best attack in a Power yeah. Rangers show I knew what you're ever. Going the Pink Ranger. There's three of these because the Pink Ranger is just amazing, and I love him. Her, it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it's a him when the Red Ranger does it. Yeah. Well, anyway. That's why they identify we, by numbers now. So, that. Pink Ranger is extremely <coughs> weak. And uh, whenever, like, she gets into, like, a situation where there's a lot of them, she goes, she goes, I think I can. Oh, no, really. no, no. That I was know, a... that's the sub, but it's like, she, she's like, I'm strong. You know, I'm strong. I'm super, super, I'm super strong. Super power girl! And she tries to do a superhero with a cape and everything. No, it's di- it's a different motif every episode. Yeah. First one was Kata Kitty Girl. I don't know what that translates to. Ultimate Girl. Second one, yeah. Second one was Kung Fu Girl. Third yeah. one was Super Girl. So it's going to be different every time. Yeah. No, Kung Fu Girl was the third one. No, it was second one. Because she punched through the coffin with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. she did. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it was Super Strong Girl the second time, because she needed to lift I something. I could have sworn it was Kung Fu Episode 2. First episode, she did the super the strike one, because Kata she had Kitty to pick girl. the axe. Yeah. yeah. She did Power Girl, like Super Strong, like Superhero, I and she did to, Strength at the same time. I swear to God, Kung Fu was Episode 2. No. I think she pulled it for a second. And maybe, well. maybe, but well, I all I remember is that she used it to it break through the coffin. Episode 1 was Kata Kitty Girl, Episode 2 well, was we're, Kung we're, Fu we're flipping over the point where we're missing the best attack. Her, I don't know what her weapon is. It looks really fucking it's weird. It's a train track claw. It's a yeah, bri- it's like a bridge claw. Yeah, thing. it's a bridge claw. Okay, I'll go with that. And she's like, "Oh no, I'm being defeated." Activate bridge claw. It. They jump. I don't know why they did this. They jumped into it. Like like it grows big. For it a grows second. really big. Like it was like eight feet <clears> long. They jump in it at the and at the very end they're about like an like an like, inch tall. Her weapon goes back to normal size and then the monsters jump out of yeah. it and they're tiny. And they're tiny. And so she just goes down and goes boop boop boop. She literally boop, starts boop, st- stabbing, stabbing them, them like ants. Like ants. And they're no no. You know how when an enemy gets defeated in this show, they explode. Tiny little explosions. <laughs> 
And I'm like, it's the attention to detail <laughs> that just makes me love this show. And you just hear her going, tsun, tsun, yeah, tsun, 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 Kind of crouch down the ground. Yeah. Best in show. Yeah. <laughs> like before, di- before the dick, before the dick coffin. That was best in show. Now best in show for uh, for un uh, unconventional. Uh, no, I was gonna say no. Um, you know, like instead of them going into the Megazord, so un Megazord best so, attack, so, and then Megazord best attack. So best non mech. Yeah, there we go. That works. And I'm done because I th- literally the only thing I have to talk about I gave my topic to Lane so there we go. All right, well I mean just aside from what everyone said, again it was very going into this I didn't want to. <laughs> it was very much the podcast that got me into it. I only have slight like ounces of regret at the moment. That is to say... It will I, get better. I, uh, I hope so. Yeah, I so fucking far, hope so. So far, I find um, that what's doing it for... Oh, Tokyo is so fucking disgusting. I know. What even is it? It's, it's, it's a hideous. 1980s mech. It's freaking oh. hideous. I'll never enjoy that ever. The suits are growing on me. What I really like is um, Tokyo 3. Tokyo Sango. Yeah. Uh, wait. No. I lied. Rokugo. Rokugo, the green one. That's the one. Oh, okay. Uh, That's Yong- my favorite, too. Yongo. Yongo, sorry. Rokugo I said Rokugo. Sixth. Really cool. I like him. He's interesting. He's very... I feel like he's the level-headed one of the group. He's supposed to be the serious one, just yeah. like in Kyoryuji. I don't know. I like him a lot. I feel like Pink's... Or Five is really cool. That is to say, I owe a lot to this show in that I feel like if I can watch this, I can watch anything... I feel like go back and revisit some stuff that I looked at initially and just went, no, this is fucking ridiculous. And I looked at Tokyo and went, if I'm forcing myself to watch this, nothing's this ridiculous. Like I said, uh, it caused me to go back and revisit Go Buster, which I'm thoroughly enjoying infinitely more than Tokyo. <laughs> what the fuck even are you? Um, that's basically all I can add to that. I love all of it. I literally love fucking all of it. It's amazing. <laughs> when I first saw the Tokyo Drift suits, I was like, mm, I would what? like to. I would. I would I, like to clarify something. Lane is currently wearing the Tokyo Change bracer right now. So I first saw the suits and I was like, <laughs> mm, okay, those are weird, really. And then I just started looking at them more, and I'm like, you know what? No, I, I like them. I like full on colors. Like how they're each like a different train, stuff like that. So like going into episode one, like. Each day we're just like, oh, this is gonna be fucking stupid. And I'm like, oh, well, fuck all of you. I'm, I'm gonna enjoy the fuck out of this. And it's amazing. For once, there's it's a series where I like the Red Ranger like the most. Right is just his name is Light. It's it Japanese. Is, no, 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 that at first. I thought it was just the chest going... Hey, I, and thought, I, was like, I, oh, thought okay. just, I thought he just punched out. No, no it's like coming out of the chest. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, just the chest thing. And then I watched like the sub again, uh, sub, and I was like, oh yeah, okay, this is dick, okay, funny. Uh, Ichi hates the color switching gimmick. I like it because, you know, they all get to use their abilities in like certain ways. And like, one time they're doing it and Ticket's just like... Why the fuck are they switching colors? It's like if they're switching colors like it's a toy gimmick. I'm like, <laughs> little do you fuck know, you. it is a toy gimmick. I can't wait to get more like, of this. <laughs> fuck you, ticket. Tokyo I like because it's colorful. Yes, it's like just four, it's five, just five lines stuck together. <laughs> but like, this is the thing that Ichi hates. And the like, head comes out when the, the head comes out, it's like, doors are opening. <laughs> it's and face like, is hidden behind train doors that open. But I like it because, but where like, did they come from? But, no, like it but because, my like, question is is the is about the suit is that there's a mess. Uh, it can separate when it was getting shot, right? Yeah, yeah but it still that. floated there. Yeah, like, it didn't fall or anything. It literally hits the emergency button and the Megazord in place separates horizontally, so all five of them are just floating there for a second as bullets fly between them. May I just first... Get a Robo did it first and better. I bet. And, and then after the bullets fly back, it just, like, re Yeah, Kachuk. Also, also, can, like, fucking extend its arms so it can do a punch. <laughs> I also like that Light is just so convinced he's just like, 
I know you're controlling that puppet. I'm going to catch you and take the that, puppet that, off your head. So I'm afraid it. that if he does that, he's actually going to take his hand. I bet you that's going to be like an ongoing thing throughout the series. He's just going to keep it's trying to like grip, take it It's just like with Oner trying to like get the eat the whole ball of rice before the flag fell yeah. down. Like that was funny. Overall, I love the series. Like General <coughs> Schwartz. Like yeah, the villains are pretty interesting. Greta's ugly. You mean you mean female grimace? Yeah, she's she's. She's a, she's a living poisoned McNugget. She's destined to like marry like the emperor or prince or something Fun like fact. that. But she has a super man like like a crush Fun, on yeah. General Schwartz. Fun fact: When I first saw that character and I heard her voice, the first thing in my head is I thought it was the same voice as Navi from Go Kaiser. I was wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. I yeah. looked it up. I thought it was Tamara Yukari for a minute there, and I was like, no, not quite. Okay. okay. Of one thing that bothered me, the whole "you're all good as dead" thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ticket's a face. real asshole. He's yeah. just like, you guys are gonna die. Doing all this, you're gonna die. Oh, and also, we haven't gotten to the also the main plot of the series is that because it's so they've boring. Lost, they no, no, they've lost their memories because their town was taken over from the Shao, taken over by the Shaolin, so they don't remember like. They know who they are, because they know they used to be friends and stuff when they were kids, but they don't know anything else about themselves, yeah. but slowly while the episodes are going, they're... And they were going, kicked out of the darkness yeah. because their imagination was too yeah, strong. Yeah, their imagination was yeah. really good. But there's, every episode, they're like, oh, I remember something like, we're, our town was near an ocean. Like, oh, we're slow. We're, by the end, they'll remember everything. They remember the trees. Tree. That stuff like that, What yeah. you were saying about their origin story really makes me curious how they're going to introduce Toki Rokugo. You know what's going to happen? He's going to be... In the city they save. Oh yeah, we should mention that. Toki Rokugo, not only is he fir the first official Orange Ranger, <laughs> his changer's a goddamn iPhone. We don't know that guy. it's an actual iPhone. Also what I like is their transformation sequence because it's like announcer thing, so it's like, Transformation com uh, coming in or whatever. And Please wait by the way. Like, wait, the white the white white line. Line. I'm calling and this now. Do. I'm calling this now. And me and Raven both think about this. The general. First time the general walks in, I almost guarantee you they're gonna start transforming. He's like, "Bitch, I don't care about the white line." He will step through. He will this step bitch. through it. Bitch, slap them in the middle of their Absolutely. The, or or. Because, you know, like, cause the train goes by. That's yeah. the reason why there's a white line. And, yeah. like, stop it with his hand. Like, Bro. no. Yeah. Like, he'll step beyond the white line. The train will come at him from the side. Bam. Yeah. Also, I will mention. Step, he'll stop it. Tokyo Ichigo Pink is, like, one of my favorite things right now. Hope they make a figure of that. But I have a shirt design where I'm going to take Tokyo Ichigo's chest emblem and make five shirts using that emblem. So. Yeah. I, I cannot wait to do that. I can't wait for you to spend two hundred dollars on that. Woohoo! <laughs> I can shop that chest design in five minutes. Yeah. That's how boring and simple it is. But yeah, Tokyo Ranger. I'm really hoping it becomes my favorite Sentai by the end of it. Honestly, because right now it's Geki Ranger for me. If it becomes, oh, I really? like Go Kaiger. Yeah, I like Go Kaiger. Oh no, Go Kaiger. Anyway, okay, anyways, be, before we, before right we get I say ahead. have it get be the only Super Sentai I've ever. I think. Seen. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyways, so let's go ahead and so we've said our piece on Tokyo Ranger so far. So now we're going to talk about, just we're just going to go real quick through, from Gaim and Tokyuger, favorite writer and character, like, and Sentai character. Um, so we're going to do this real quick. Um, for Gaim, my favorite writer is Bar uh, Bravo. Bravo! Because he's the most entertaining character. Great. Um, Tokyuger, I like Tokisango, the yellow check, because she's the only one who immediately rejected the line changing bullshit. I actually really do like Gaim, so I'm just going to go with him on that. I'm stealing David's thunder, obviously, here. He's making a gesture to throw the microphone I get it, so I'm gonna kill both of you! Just kidding. I'm like, oh, I like Bravo! Okay, I'll pick God. Fuck you! God forbid you can't like something. I'm like, there's nothing yeah. stopping you from liking I know, I'm one. like, I just wanted to be original, you bastard. And <laughs> for her Tokyo Jer, they're all a bunch of idiots. Oh, Moving yeah. On. <laughs> Moving on. My favorite character is Ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Ticket for Smash! <laughs> Dave, go. Oh, uh, well, um, for actually, for Kai, actually, I thought about it because I just remembered Knuckle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought about it. I was like, wait a second, Knuckle. Yeah, Knuckle's pretty fucking badass. Yeah. And I really do like him. So, Knuckle. Actually, you know what? My favorite character is Sid. Oh, there you go. So, yeah. So, so Sigurd, yeah. 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 No, I was thinking, like. You mean Mr. Pac Man Longseed? Yeah, no, I love, <laughs> I love that guy. But for Tokyuger, I'm actually going. I'm actually gonna pick the uh, the Green Ranger guy. Oh, I, I was certain you'd pick. I was certain you'd pick Gogo because of the whole sin sin sin. Oh yeah, yeah well, I yeah, guess yeah. Pink Ranger would be pretty awesome. So, yeah. I just like the Green Ranger because he's like he's like he's the a straight man. He's like he doesn't. Yeah. He's like what the fuck are you guys? 
What's going on here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, Pink Ranger for sure. Um, Actually, I think I'll jump in to finally say mine's blue. Just because I do enjoy the fact that how stereotypical he is and the fact that he was trying to lead the group before. Oh, yeah. yeah. When he was trying to be the leader and the stereotype for the Blue Rangers, the Blue Ranger is the one who wants to be the Red Ranger. Yes. Oh, so he, it's SPD. That's it. The, the <laughs> yeah. Blue Ranger wants to be the leader and does not ex- fully the accept the leader. That is the stereotype. Yeah, and this He is the most ultra. stereotypical little thing. The Blue Ranger <laughs> wanted to be the leader. And then the Red Ranger showed up and just went, nope, you, I'm red. As far as Gaim goes, I mean, my initial thing right off the bat was Zangetsu. Just the design of it is absolutely beautiful. On the whole, though, as a character, I have to go with Bravo. Just the writer design and the character design are just too perfect, and I just think he's hilarious. Yes. And incredibly entertaining. Durian Centurion. Um, Yeah, that's the motif. He's the Durian Centurion. Tokuger, General like Schwartz. Okay, Gaim Malika, like her character, uh, I think. Her name is Yoko Minato. Yoko Minato, yeah. So Yoko and uh, Malika, but also Gaim, because, you know, Koda's just. So much goes on with him, and he just, like. Oh, just so much character development with him. I on, love it. On, on the front of Gaim, sorry, I don't really care for Gaim too much, but my philosophy with almost everything Ryder is. If you're not fond of something, make it evil. It makes it better. Tokyo Jer, <clears throat> Tokyo Ichigo, my like, hands down, like he's yeah. he's awesome. He just does what he wants and has the biggest imagination out of all of them, and just fantastic. But also, I just want to make a mention that there's an episode where, uh, like in episode two, Blue, he falls over and you just see his like track on his visor just go like bend over like this and he's he like has to ah! fix his glasses. adjust his track on his visor and I was like his visor moved and he has to adjust it like his glasses I saw that and I'm like that's amazing see I just love when series like have a gimmick and they just go all out with this gimmick with everything so like the fact that they have to have like a pass and scan like this thing to go to their zords so they can form yeah, their that, megazord that was funny they have to well wait the reason the why they did that is because a lot of people jump the track yeah. So they just want kids to know, hey, you don't do the proper answer. Well, apparently this week's episode like is Tokyo Nigo's uh, lost his pass. Yeah. And so he's kind of fucked. He can't get on the train right now or something. So I'm like, oh, well, you're That'll be interesting. Yeah. Which is funny because, you know, in Japan, you can just scan your pass again mm-hmm. and let someone else in. Okay. So we seem to have uh, apparently pulled the full hour just talking about Gaiman Tokyo at yeah. this point. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to... We were going to talk about uh, a small open discussion on our favorite series. We can leave that series. for next time when we're only dealing with one episode. Exactly. So we, and I feel like, yeah, the full episode should probably, we're good with having just discussed the both current series up to date. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Great. for the next episode, you have homework. You got an episode, you got to watch episode 21. <clears throat> and you have the episode 4. And catch up with Super Mega Force. Yeah, we're going to talk about Super Mega Force yeah. next time. Oh, I'm going to ignore the shit out of Super Mega Force. Oh, so you're going to go in blind? Yes. Oh, okay then. I'm going to come in blind and go, why? <laughs> why, 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 why did you do any of that? that? Actually, you know, I'm not going to say anything, because, I, it, but it's good. We'll save that discussion for them. Mm. So, thank you for joining in and listening to episode one of Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. Thank you. Hopefully we keep this going strong. Uh, we will be having some guests on the podcast. Uh, I won't give too many names, but we do have at least a few people confirmed at this point. So stay tuned for further announcements. Uh, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good thing. Uh, you can also check us out if you're interested in just us as people. You can, we also are also on Inksy Studios. We do a lot of convention coverage, video game videos. And uh, Mr. Overkill in here and I are also part of another channel called Overseal Gaming, where we are currently running... Uh, video game videos and some live streams as well. Uh, you can find us all at studios.ca or w- uh, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Twitch, slash Overzeal Gaming uh, accordingly. So, thank you for tuning in. Everyone want to say goodbye? See ya! See ya later! <laughs> Bye! I like trains! Bye! And yet, Tokyuja sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Deno's better. Tokyuja's best series. We'll get to that. Deno's best to Kuger. <laughs> <laughs> Deno for honorary Tokyo. <laughs> That's what the movie's for. Yeah. See ya. Peace. Common Rider Russia's. Yeah, that Just will totally happen. Anyways, they, they announced it. Yeah. Okay.
Bye. Bye. Bye.